Okay, we're going to take a look at this last question because this last question is basically an excellence level question. Okay, and um, we've done the other two questions together. And this excellence question is quite tricky because um, it's this whole thing around do something in terms of something else. So we don't have any measures. We've got, um, we've got parallel lines marked, right? So we've got parallel lines. We've got um, isosceles triangles. We have one isosceles triangle. We have parallel lines. So let's just take a look at this question. So find an expression for the size of angle G. So angle G in terms of angle F, in terms of this angle here. Now, when you see something that says find angle G in terms of, that means that you're going to use letters. You're probably going to do some algebra, simplifying, and you're going to have to have an expression. So for angle G is equal to blah, 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 with an F in it somewhere. That's basically what it means. You've got to have G in terms of F. So, uh, we need to start with sort of some things that we know or some things that we can write, and we don't have any measures, right? We don't have any measures um, or angles that we know, but we generally know some stuff. So let's see what we do know. What we do know is we have an isosceles triangle, so angle A is going to be equal to angle B, right? So we know that. And so we know that A is equal to B. And that's base angles, isosceles triangles, um, equal. So we know that. Now, but we don't know what A and B are, and we don't know what F is, but we do know something. We know that A plus B plus F is equal to 180 degrees. We know that. So could we express A in some way um, so that we could, we know that A and B are equal. So we basically know that um, A can be expressed as 180 minus F. So it's going to be 180 minus F. And then it's divided by 2 because we know that A and B are equal. So that's how we would figure out what A is. We would take 100, we would minus F if we knew what F was and then we divide by two. So we know what the expression, and it's an expression of A is. It's 180 minus F divided by two. And by the way, B is also equal to 180 minus F divided by two. I don't know if we need that, but we'll write it because both of those have the same expression, right? And that's, these are basically written in terms of F, right? These are in terms of F. That's what it means. We have F in the expression. Now, we haven't gotten to G yet, but do we know anything about G in relation to anything else? Well, we know, we know this. We know that this big angle here is angles on a straight line, right? So we know that um, G is going to be, so what do we know? We know that G, angle G is equal to, I should little signs in this, angle G is equal to 180 minus B. Now what's the reason for that? By the way, do we need a reason for this? Do we need a reason? A is, A is yes. Well, we have base angles and isosceles triangle, um, and triangles, angles in a triangle add to 180. So we probably should put that angle, that reason in there, because there is a reason for A to be 180 minus F over 2. Base angles, an isosceles triangle, and also um, angles in a triangle add to 180. So angle G, let's get back to angle G. Angle G is 180 minus B, right? And that's because angles on a line add 
to 180. All right, so we've got that. So where are we going here? Well, we're trying to get G um, in terms of F. Hmm. Well, we know what B is. We know B is this expression, 180 minus F over 2. So instead of writing B, how about we write, um, we substitute in what B is in terms of F. So we go, okay, so angle G is equal to 180 minus, and then what's the B expression, which is 180 minus F over 2. Yeah? Now, we need to simplify that, right? So we don't, we don't just normally sort of leave this. Uh, there's a couple of ways that we can simplify it, but I mean, if we got this far, we would be pretty happy. But so 180 minus F over two can be basically, we could, uh, will be the easiest thing to do. Basically we have 180, we have 180 over two minus F over two. That's how we can rewrite that. Now that might be useful. So, because 180 over 2 is 90, right? So we have angle G is equal to 180 minus, and then let's just use let's just use this. So 180 divided by 2 is 90, and then uh, we'll put this in brackets because it's minus, and then minus F over 2. You see what's happening here, right? You see what's happening. So. Um, Let's keep going. So angle G is 180 minus 90, which is 90, minus the minus F2. So we've gotten rid of this. We've got the 180 minus 90, and then we've got two minus signs here that set becomes plus F over two. Oh my God, we've just done an excellence question. Angle G in terms of F. That's all it is. Now, 